Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have a brand new version of the Microsoft Edge web browser for desktop. And this latest release, version 103, started rolling out on the 23rd of June 2022, which was yesterday in my region. Now, version 103 is a major update. Uh, if you do find yourself doing a lot of online gaming and gaming using the Edge browser, as we have four brand new features that have rolled out uh, for gamers and gaming in the Edge browser. So if you do um, game a lot using the Edge browser, then this update is for you. And Microsoft has officially announced with the release and rollout of version 103 that Edge is the, and I'm quoting, best browser for gamers. So according to Microsoft, Edge now is your best choice when it comes to gaming online. Now, um, just to go through these uh, new features first uh, for the gaming side of things, and then we'll take a look at some of the improvements and changes, and then those all-important security updates. Now, the first uh, new feature for um, gaming in the Edge browser um, is that there is a new dedicated homepage now for gaming. Now, um, I'm not seeing the new homepage, and there are reports that are saying that it seems to be on a, con a controlled staggered rollout. So um, once it does roll out, it'll uh, show up here in your feed, and it'll just uh, you'll, there'll, there'll be an option here called gaming. So if you are like me and you're not seeing the new gaming homepage, just be patient, as I'm sure we'll get it sooner than later. Now, I did take a screenshot, though, when my browser was restarting um, to apply the update. And this is um, the, um, the new tab that appeared um, from Microsoft where they were announcing the new features for gaming. And as mentioned, they say Microsoft Edge is the best browser for gamers. And the new, uh, the new homepage for gaming is more or less going to look like this when it rolls out. And it's going to include things like news, guides, live streams, and highlights from tournaments. Um, amongst a whole lot of other things in regards to gaming. And it's also going to have integration with Xbox. So apparently if you sign in with your Xbox account, you're also going to see content related to your uh, your Xbox gaming and your recently played games. And then we get the three other new features, Clarity Boost, PC Gaming Performance, and Games Menu. And I have posted on these three previously when they were still being tested in Edge Canary. And I will link... I will leave some of the links down below in the description, um, mainly for Clarity Boost and PC gaming performance, um, as it will give you a little bit more in-depth information in case you're interested. But just to have a quick look at those for the purposes of this video, um, the Clarity Boost, as mentioned, um, was tested late last year, started to be tested in Edge Canary late last year by Microsoft. And uh, basically it results in a better and sharper image quality which means that you'll be able to see more details when streaming your games in the Edge browser. And it utilizes a client-side scaling that will make the streaming quality and the images a lot sharper and crisper. But I'll leave a link to that video down below, as mentioned. And then we also have a new efficiency mode setting for gaming. So to get to this, we just head to our menu, settings, head over to system and performance. And here is the new setting called Improve Your PC Gaming Experience with Efficiency Mode, which is toggled on by default. Now, um, I did post on this previously, but just to do a quick recap, um, the official description says, when you're playing a PC game, Microsoft Edge reduces its computer resource CPU usage to create a better gaming experience. And it's toggled on by default, as mentioned. And if you don't want to use the feature, you can just turn that off. And basically, it will minimize the browser resource usage when you are playing PC games. And it's also going to auto-detect um, when you are playing games, if you have this toggled on. So it will optimize the performance of the browser for your gaming. And also, um, um, if you, when you are finished playing your game, and as soon as you exit the game, it will also then readjust the resource usage back to where it was and adjust it back to normal levels. So it will auto-detect when you are doing and playing online games in the browser, if you have that turned on. And then the final feature when it comes to gaming, as mentioned, there's quite a lot going on with gaming in this latest release, is under Appearance, and it's called uh, the Gaming Hub. So if we head to Appearance, and we head down to the shortcut buttons. There's a new games button, which is actually toggled off by default. And if you want the button to show up in the toolbar, you can just toggle that on. And it'll place a little gaming button, games button, shortcut button in the toolbar in the top right. And if you click on that little shortcut, it opens up a gaming hub. 
And I've also posted, as mentioned, regarding this um, in Edge Canary. So it's finally made its way to the stable version. And in Edge Canary currently no, now, it's not a shortcut toggle in the uh, the uh, toolbar. It's actually part of the new uh, quick action sidebar. But nonetheless, this is how it's rolled out in the stable version now. And it gives you access to a lot of games you can play, uh, obviously, as you can see in the browser. And you have staff picks recommended for you. And then you also have some quick toggles to different categories like match games, card games, word games, puzzle games, arcade games, strategy games. And another way you can actually access the uh, site panel for the gaming hub is to go back to the menu and you will see uh, games. And if you click on that, that will open the gaming hub once again. So that's it in regards to gaming in the browser. So if you'd like to see if you have the update, um, as always, we just head to the menu in the top right help and feedback about Microsoft Edge. And if the browser hasn't updated already uh, in the background, this will force the update uh, to the latest version, which is 103.0.1264.37. Now, just to take a look at some of the other changes and improvements in case you're interested, and I'm just going to make a quick mention of these before we get into the security updates. Most of the improvements and changes in the release notes are designed and geared towards organizations and enterprises. So just to mention these quickly, they've rewritten the Microsoft uh, Defender Smart Screen Library, which now offers a more reliable protection. So enterprise customers, customers may delay the use, um, the, the use until Edge 105 rolls out by using the new Smart Screen Library enabled policy. And then we get a client certificate switcher which helps you to clear the remembered certificate and resurface the certificate picker when visiting a site requiring HTTP certificate authentication without quitting Edge. And then we have um, control, we can control the automatic profile switching, which basically um, lets Microsoft Edge prompt the user to switch to the appropriate profile when Microsoft Edge detects that a link is a personal or work link. And then the final new change is um, there's a new work search banner and this banner will apparently help you stay in the flow of your work by narrowing your search focus to work only results according to Microsoft in those official release notes. Now, um, there's also four new policies uh, that have rolled out with this latest update and one of those is there's a new sleeping tabs timeout policy that now supports a timeout of 30 seconds uh, in this latest version upgrade to version 103 and if we just head back to system and performance that will be listed here under putting active tabs to sleep after the specified amount of time and if we click on that we now get 30 seconds of inactivity now that's rolled out with version 103 so that just now gives you another option when it comes to uh, the specified specified amount of time when you want you or your, when you want your active tabs to be put to sleep and um then we get to those all important security um, updates and I'm just going to make quick mention of these. We have a total of 12 security updates um, that have rolled out according to the release notes for this edge, uh, this latest upgrade to version 103 and um, 10 of those out of the 12 are for the Chromium platform which the browser is based on. Now just to mention the uh, two that are edge-specific edge uh, security issues. So these would be regarding the actual Edge browser. Um, they are both elevation of privilege. So those are edge-specific security issues that have been addressed. And then we get uh, the uh, 10 Chromium um, vulnerabilities which have rolled out to the Chromium browsers over the last couple of days. And this is an important update to the Chromium platform as it includes um, a critical... Um, issue a vulnerability that's been addressed which is your highest rank vulnerability and then also other two vulnerabilities that are also rated as high and those are mainly use after free and the old uh, VA JavaScript engine has a vulnerability once again so um, so we've got 12 security fixes two edge specific and 10 of those are chromium based and those fix one um, critical and two high risk vulnerabilities so that's more or less What's new in this latest release to the Edge browser for desktop version 103? And as mentioned, the key highlights here would be those major upgrades um, that have been now applied um, for online gaming and gaming in the Edge browser. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.